I'd always had a passion for cooking and I've always cooked, but I'd always done it and I just never, it never, I don't know, it just never entered my head to do it because I'd not been told that it was an option when you're growing up and I'm not saying you have to be told everything that you're going to do, but it, you know, it wasn't readily available at school. It was like, okay, what career do you want to do? It was never mentioned, but I always had a passion for it and then it wasn't until a friend said, you know, well, when I was thinking about changing because I just wasn't enjoying what I was doing anymore. They said, oh, you know, why don't you, why don't you cook? Why don't you become a chef? And I just thought, well, oh, too late now. You know, you need to do it from when you're 15, 16. And they were like, nah, you know, go on, give it a go. And then I was like, actually, I love it. So yeah, I will try it. I just applied straight away to Gordon Ramsay Holdings for a job, a commie chef job. They found it hilarious really that I'd had you know, no experience, I was 27 and, and a woman, so it was like, you know, if I saw that CV now, I'd be a bit like... It was a bit of luck, I didn't, I didn't fill out the application form properly, so in the end I had to speak to them, and I kind of then showed on the phone that I you know, had drive and really wanted to give it a go, so they kind of gave me a chance, and from that point I just you know, got my head down and, and took the opportunity. You've got to make your own luck and make it work. So I'm just about to open a new restaurant in London with my best friend Gordon McIntyre. Each is going to be a restaurant that's got an open wood fire grill, so that's all on view. It's an open kitchen, um, so it'll be nice. Lots of smells and flavours going on there um, with basically modern cooking with um, a lot of traditional techniques. I think that I've gone from the bottom to head chef to now leaving to start my own thing under 10 years. It was a brilliant achievement and I just think each kind of three years I've had like another stage now ready for the next thing. I'm just really ambitious in that sense and it's something clicked and I was like right I'm ready I think I could do more for a business than just um, be a head chef. Being a chef and being a woman is difficult I think because of the physicality but also I think People shouldn't be scared of that because you can just ask for help. It's almost like a management skill as well, you know, if you're asking people for help, you then know how to ask for things as a boss. I've been quite lucky maybe the way I've been brought up, it was, I was told I could do anything. Because I've never worried about it in that sense of, oh, I'm a woman or a girl, I'm not going to be able to do that. I think my advice would be, yeah, just don't even think about it. Crack on with it. If you want to do it, go and do it. And then, yeah, if, if something does come up because you're a woman, then fight it, you know, and, and I think you'll, you'll benefit that way. <laughs>